in continuation to our discussion on soil mechanics, for this session we'll discuss seepage and flow net theory. Some uh, definitions here. Flow line is simply the path of water molecule from upstream to downstream. Total head steadily decreases along the flow line. That means that from this figure, this is the upstream side and some of you will now be the downstream side. Surely water will flow from this upstream side towards the downstream side. But since this concrete dam is considered as impervious, that means that water cannot pass through, then these water molecules will pass through under the dam. From here, if you consider a certain, uh, certain uh, water particle from this point here, then it will now flow along this path, along this blue line, going now to the downstream side. And this path of water molecule, as it flows from the upstream side to the downstream side, will now be considered as the flow line. Another one will be uh, what we call a equipotential line. It is simply a contour of constant total head that means that on this figure, consider again this figure, then if there will be what we call as points that will now be connected to represent a constant head, and that is now what we call as an equipotential line. Try to consider now this uh, line here. That means that if, if we consider this to be an equipotential line, then all points along this line will now have a, a, uh, the same or constant total head. If ever that this will now be the total head from the upstream will now be HL and the total head as at the downstream side will be zero, then from the upstream side going now to the downstream side, the total head constantly decreases. So somewhere here may be 0.9 of the total head, somewhere here will be 0.8 of the uh, total head. Maybe in between will now be a 50%, then 40%, 10% until it becomes zero at the, at the uh, downstream side. So all of these points here along this line will now be having a constant head of around 0.8 of the total head. Consider now the sheet pile. If we say total head is the same, that, that means that if you try to insert, insert a, a piezometer, then the level of water will be at the same level because at the end of this, of this uh, piezometer, then uh, the head will be the same. The head will be the same. So again, this will now be an equipotential line and the heads will be the same at any point on this equipotential line. A flow net is a network of selected streamlines and equipotential lines. So that means that here, in our problem at dam, upstream and downstream side, if you construct now a series of lines here, uh, comprising of streamlines and equipotential lines, then all of this will now be considered as a flow net. From here, this will now be a, an equipotential line, but take note that the division between the concrete dam and the soil beneath will now be another equipotential line, and the division between the impervious strata and the soil will now be another equipotential line. So from this figure, we have now three equipotential lines and something like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, I mean, um, three streamlines and eight equipotential lines. But in constructing now this, this uh, flow net, we need to consider two things here. It means that in every segment, it should be curvilinear square. So that means that it is almost square. This part here is almost square. This is also almost square mm -hmm. and so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. Note also that the uh, division intersection between any streamline and equipotential line should all ways be almost 90 degrees, something like this. So the use of this uh, flow net will now be to estimate the quantity of seepage. And to determine the quantity of seepage, we have to make use of this formula, Q equals to KHL NF1 over ND. Q will now be our uh, seepage, K will now be the coefficient of permeability of the soil, HL will now be the total head from upstream to downstream side, NF will now be the number of flow path or flow channels. Take note that this will now be one flow path and this will be another flow path. That means that in between the flow lines or streamlines will be one flow path. And they will now be the number of equipotential drops. Drops will now be from the upstream side, 
the first equipotential line will now be the first drop. This will now be the second drop, the third drop, and so on as long until you reach now the downstream side. That means that the number of equipotential drops is generically equal to the number of equipotential lines minus one. Now to determine now the total head at a certain point, say total head at a certain point x, say this one, then this will now be calculated as the total head minus the number of drops from equi from upstream times delta h and delta h will now be hl all over nd example for this uh, point x here the total head here hl minus the number of drops so if we try to count, uh, to count now up to point x that is one two three four five uh, five drops then times this delta h hl all over nd Okay, so uh, from here, the piping at the downstream near the dam, the exit uh, hydraulic gradient, that is the, the uh, exit hydraulic gradient is delta H all over delta L.